the nightmares. How common is that among action sports stars? It was really funny. I, we put in the, the movie 199 Lives um, about the nightmares, and I was, I was skeptical. I was like, I don't really want that out to the general public, but I'm like, well, if we're going to do it, let's you know, do everything. And, and it, was just, it was neat to see how many military guys, actually more than anything, have come up to me and been like, dude, I've got the same thing, or dude, there's some guy that, that's in you know, our unit or our division or our whatever that he's got, he screams every night or he does this. Really? And I don't know per se that it's, um, you know, just action sports or, you know, everyone, there's a lot of people that have night terrors, but it was kind of interesting for me how many more of my peers actually, actually had that, even like Ryan Sheckler, um, you know, got up and most of them, they kind of slows down as they get older, uh, where me, it's, it's kind of sped up. So I'm not exactly sure what, what the deal is with that, but, uh, to what extent is you if you tried to fix it, or is there anything that uh, can be done for? I, like I tried that? to fix it a little bit when, you know, because when I have broken bones or something, and I still get up and I wake up and I'm jumping, and I realize I have a broken ankle when I'm in the air or tumbling down a set of steps, or I've knocked my front tooth out. The only time I've knocked a tooth out was actually having a night terror. Dogs, right? Yeah, I was diving away from dogs, and I was in the air going, I don't have any dogs, and just yeah, tumbling down the set of steps. So yeah, I mean. Yeah, that kind of sucks. And your mom said she's literally almost had to jump on top of you when you're in a hospital bed be, to avoid you having to uh, jump yeah. up. But what, what happens? Some I remember, some I don't. Um, most of the times that I remember now, if I if I if I can actually um, feel like I'm awake, then I can just sit there and be like, okay, I'm you know schizophrenic or something, and just go back right back to sleep. But most of the time that I'm running around now, I just I have no idea. So really, I. Have, no, I wake up and I'm just in midair, running full sprint through the desert or down the road or, you know, out of my hotel room. I can get out of locked doors. I can, I mean, I'm fully functional. But a couple uh, stories involving the night terrors. I was interested to you, you telling uh, a hotel lobby in like your underwear. Yeah, I mean, it, it's good reason for me not to sleep naked for sure, and definitely sleep with some shorts on. I was actually Mardi Gras. I went to sleep early because we, we had a race or whatnot, and um, ended up. Woke up in the elevator. I was like, in my underwear. Door opens at the bottom. Half my friends are sitting there. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Walk to the front desk. I'm like, uh, need a key for my room. I'm like, do you have any ID? I'm like, does it look like I have any ID right now? <laughs> so it, it was nice. That worked out. How about the plane ride, like after 9/11? Oh, really, uh, really bad. That only one time. That's. I'm actually really afraid. People say, what, what are you scared of? I am most afraid and petrified of going to sleep on an airplane and waking up running through the, the halls because right before 9-11, actually, luckily, right before, okay. I ended up uh, was going to the race. So most of my friends were on that flight as well. And uh, I took off running at full sprint, yelling, just <laughs> dropping all kinds of four-letter words, screaming top of my lungs to the back. And we were on the runway still because I was just tired. We fell asleep before we even took off. And I had to walk back past all of my friends and all these people that were completely petrified and all the way back up to the front where my seat was and sit down. And I was like, it's OK. And the flight attendants on. Everyone must remain in their seats. I'm like, yeah. I That's know. all they did? That was it. And then we took off. Went back to sleep.